how should viewers go about finding out if IT is a good career for them? Because I know a lot of young people, you know, maybe somebody who's 18 looking if they want to get a degree or a certification, a lot of the time they don't really know what they like. So, I mean, how can you know what to go into when you don't really even know yourself yet, right? So how would people go about figuring out if IT is good for them? If you don't, if you're not already like a big computer nerd and you don't have like a necessarily have a real innate passion for technology, IT can still be like a pretty good career for you. So like what I would recommend doing to kind of figure that out is I would watch like, I, I guess finish watching this video and then um, maybe search out some other videos, like maybe day in the life of a help desk person. Or if you know somebody who works in IT, kind of just interview them and do like your field research to try to get a general sentiment for the field and like see if it, those people are doing stuff that you might like doing. And if, if you're still kind of interested in it, I would recommend um, just getting like a, a cheap, like refurbished computer from Amazon or something, and then just work through like CompTIA A plus curriculum. Like there's a lot of free, um, a lot of free stuff on the internet and just kind of work through it and learn about the basic concepts of technology and like what an OS is and like the RAM and like hard drive and all that and, and kind of experiment with your computer, the one you bought. Um, don't ruin your, your personal computer if you can, but um, I'll just kind of work through it and work through A plus. And if you can get through A plus the curriculum, not necessarily like passing the exam even, but um, just look around at different people in the field, go through the A plus curriculum. And if you still feel pretty good about it, I would, I would recommend at least um, maybe finish the cert and then just try working um, in, in a help desk job or something like this. But yeah. It, and if you anywhere along the way, if you after you like interview people and you're like, that seems boring, like I, I wouldn't really recommend like putting more um, putting more effort into it because it's not really like it's not really that fulfilling of a job, but it, it's all right enough to where if you feel okay going through the curriculum, um, you it, it's worth like giving a try anyway. Hey guys, Shane from the future. Really quickly, I wanted to say that there are a few resources down in the description. It'll be at the very top that I think are good when it comes to IT. One of them is going to be a certification that is very common and it's a good way to kind of dip your toe into IT and see if it's the right thing for you. And it can also help you to get an entry level job or maybe an internship. And then the other one is a website that allows you to quickly test out of different classes at a fraction of the cost at study.com. So definitely check out both of those down in the description below. You know, okay, that's interesting that you bring up that it's not fulfilling because every time I have a technical issue and I call like an IT guy and he's, you know, or IT girl and they're able to figure it out for me, I am so thankful to them. Like, and I think that they're geniuses as well. So like there's been times when I've had like audio issues, video issues. I call up my friends or, you know, I call up somebody at the company and I am just extremely grateful uh, to them for being able to fix that for me. So I, I do think it's a job that's relatively meaningful. If uh, maybe if you're uh, somebody who just likes solving problems for other people, um, would you, would you agree with that or would you disagree? Yeah. I can, I can speak to that quite a bit, actually. I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad you brought that up because, this is very, I don't know if I can say it's ironic or not, but the, I really, my first IT job, the part-time job in, in help desk, um, that was, that's probably the, probably my most favorite job in technology I ever had. Cause I got to hey, Josh, interface sure. with people and like help them with their problems. And they were like, so happy, like, like you mentioned. And it, it's really nice. Cause even though that, that job like paid pretty low, um, I could get like instant results. I can just like help people and then like treat them really well while I'm helping them and they're happy and I get like instant results and I feel good. And I was like, man, IT is dope. I want to like keep working in IT. And like when I got my like kind of the next job, I was still kind of customer facing. Um, and it was, it was nice because I could, I could still kind of help people a little bit. Um, but it, the kind of human interaction like went down a little bit at that point and it, it kind of, it was okay, but kind of like the more my, my salary went up, the more kind of, uh, distance from like normal humans i got i guess and the the problems like the more your salary goes up the problems that you're solving this isn't always true but the problems that you're solving are like not easy problems and it can take a long time to solve and you, you don't really get that like uh gratification from helping end users so it, it kind of depends on what you're doing like i really like working help desk i want to work help desk like, every day but um, I'm like ca ca caught in a dilemma between like the salary and like the 
you know, how, how fun the job was, I guess. I, I rambled for a while there, but I hope that kind of made sense, I guess. I think that's a great point because it kind of just goes back to kind of figuring yourself out and what you enjoy doing. There might be some people who would uh, really not like help desk and interacting with uh, the public. Yeah. Uh, and then there's, you know, it really just depends on your personality. So um, that's, yeah. that's a great point. Yeah, for sure. I forgot about that. I'm glad you, I'm glad you brought that up actually. <laughs> I'm trying to extract that value. I'm trying to extract that value out. <laughs> okay. So next is going to be the yes or no question section. So um, if possible, uh, we want to keep it like under a sentence or, you know, one word answers are going to be good here, but uh, yes or no, uh, do grades matter in college when it comes to IT? Uh, I wouldn't say so. No one's ever asked me about my grades and I, I don't put my GPA on my resume. So. Yes or no, was it worth your time to join clubs when you were in college or maybe when you were getting your certifications? I've never joined a club, so I, I would say it's worth it if you can, but it's definitely not necessary to, to get a job. How about leadership positions? So if you join a club and you get a leadership position, would that be something that's worth it? It's definitely helpful, um, definitely worth it. Uh, so I, I would say yes, but don't worry if you can't do that. It's not really required, but but yes, I guess. And then internships. How are internships looked at in the IT field? Um, I would say yes, it's worth it. If you can get one, definitely go for it. Um, but you can always substitute it with something else like creating your own experience or, or anything like this. And speaking of experience, how about work experience? Uh, does that matter? It does. It, it's really helpful in uh, getting the interview, like the getting the interview portion, that's really useful. Uh, again, if you if you don't have any, like you can't get an internship or something, you can always kind of create your own and, and st stick it on your resume. And then I think we already went over this a little bit, but is networking important? Yes, yes, it is. It's the single most powerful thing that you can use to get a job, but uh, you don't need it. It's very good. So yes, but you don't necessarily need to do it. And then how about skills? How important are skills? I would say skill is paramount. So that will help you. There's the getting the interview and then passing the interview. The skills will actually get you a job. Um, so it's, it's very important to develop some kind of basic skills if you're trying to get into IT. And then how about the school you go to? Is it that important to go to like an elite level school or you know, can you go to community college and then just go to a state school? How important is the school that you go to? The school is it's not important, I would say. Um, you might even be able to go to like something that's not accredited just for IT, like people because people don't really look at it. Um, so it's I, I wouldn't say the school is, is that important. They'll probably just be like, oh, bachelor's. OK, OK. Uh, and then, you know. It, so it's not it's not that important. And then this this is a tough one. Um, I'm gonna have to read this. Uh, sorry, uh, this is probably tough to do. But can you rank sure, sure. from most to least important grades, clubs, leadership positions, internships, uh, work experience, networking skills, uh, projects, and the school you go to? <laughs> that's yeah, that's, that's a tough one. Sorry. <laughs> No, it's cool. I'll, I'll have to read from my list a little bit. I kind of wrote them down in order, so I'll just I'll do my best here. Um, so the most most important is skill because that's what everything is about. Like you, you just can't work if you don't have skill and you can't pass your interview if you don't have skill. Um, next important thing, I kind of grouped into one kind of, uh, I guess, a group like internships, work experience and projects. I kind of put those all under the umbrella of experience. Um, these things are really important. They help you in both phases, like getting the interview and, and passing the interview. It's pretty important. Um, I, re I, I wrote certification in here as, the, I don't think you, oh, you didn't give that as an option, sorry. Um, oh, no. I, I wrote certification like after uh, internships, just because it, it helps you, um, it'll help you get the interview, especially for your first IT job, it's pretty important. Um, and you wrote networking. Um, I wrote networking after networking is like, it's really strong, but it's not something that you need to succeed in it. Like I've, I've never done networking before. So I ranked it pretty low and I know a lot of people don't like to do networking. Um, I'm really introverted. So I'm not, I'm not trying to go out just for the sake of like meeting people and like trying to build connections. I, that's a real thing. And I, I should do that, I guess, but I just don't. So I ranked networking pretty low and then grades. Um, Grades in school is about the same. Uh, it's, it's just not really important. I've never talked about 
my my grades to anyone and no one has ever asked me about my school and like an interview setting like oh i see you've gone to wgu here like tell me about that that's like never happened to me um so yeah 